Good afternoon and welcome back to these literacy through art classes via Artsphere. Um, today's project is going to be um, creating a book cover for one of your books and um, remaking the cover of the book. Um, I know that when I'm looking for books in the library or at a bookshop, I'm always drawn in by the cover of a book and I'm sure that I've looked past a lot of really interesting stories and books that I really would have enjoyed because I didn't particularly like the cover. Um, and this plays into the classic don't judge a book by its cover um, phrase. I'm sure some of you have heard that before. But um, covers are really important when you're looking for a book um, and there are lots of other options. Um, so a cover is really important um, to draw attention to a book and make you want to read it. And I know that some of my favorite books um, have really boring covers and covers that I don't really like at all. Um, and I probably wouldn't have put, picked that book up if I hadn't known anything about it and I didn't, um, previously want to read it. So, today I thought we can take a book that you have already read or one that you haven't read, um, and read it and, um, think about whether you think the title is fitting for the book. So if the title, or I'm sorry, the cover page of the book is fitting for the story that the book holds. Um, I know that, you know, like Harry Potter's books are always very exciting and very mysterious and I'm not sure that a lot of the covers that I've seen for that book really portray that. So today what I want you to do is um, find a book that you really enjoyed, um, that you, that has a cover that you don't really like. And so today I'm going to show you how to create a book cover, um, so that you can draw your own cover on the book. Um, one that reflects the story within and how you feel about the book more than the original cover did. So what I want you guys to do is be creative, um, use the emotions that you feel when you're reading a book, use uh, like the best scene or the best characters or anything that would make this book stand out in a bookstore compared to all the other books in there. You want a cover that really tells you what the reader is getting into and whether this book is worth reading or not because I know a lot of covers don't reflect that. So today um, you're going to need a book, obviously. Um, you're going to need either some newspaper or um, wrapping paper will work. Scissors, glue, something to write with, and something to draw with. So first um, I want to show you how to make a book cover. I'm not sure if, if any of you guys still have to do this, but I know that when I was in school and um, they gave me textbooks, I always had to bring in a book cover, whether that was um, some sort of cloth or paper or whether I made it out of a brown paper bag or anything. I just needed um, to bring a book cover to protect the book. So the idea today in order to make a new cover for a book um, instead of drawing directly on the cover of the book, which I feel is a little bit um, disrespectful, to avoid that, I'm going to show you how to make a book slip that you can then draw on top of so that you can create your new cover. So um, like I said, you can use newspaper or um, wrapping paper, just something that's um, big enough to um, cover a book. You can also use uh, like a brown paper bag or anything like that. Um, I would say that white, that white paper, so maybe the black of wrap, the back of a uh, wrapping paper would work better, but um, the just regular blank paper um, will, won't cover most books. So 
What I did was I used newspaper. Um, you can see here how I did it. I used newspaper to cover the book. You can't tell right now, but this is Horton Hears a Who. Um, and I, I didn't really like the, the cover of this um, this book, so I decided to make my own, which I will show you in a second. But as you can see, I used newspaper to make my own book cover. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Again, you can use wrapping paper or brown paper bag that you cut open, whatever you have access to, um, just as long as it's big enough to cover the book. So I'm gonna show you how to do it um, on this book. This is Scribbling Women um, by Martha Jocelyn. Um, and as you can see, it has a um, book slip um, and underneath, is just uh, a black book with the, the author and the name of the book on the bind. Um, but the, the slip and the actual cover of the book are both sort of boring to me, so I'm gonna show you how to make a slip out of um, newspaper so you can cover it and then make something more exciting on the cover of this book. So what you wanna do is take your newspaper, unfold it, and each newspaper has um, the fold in the middle, so you want to line the bind of the book up with the fold and fold it over like this. So your book is in there. And then what you're gonna do is fold the newspaper over, so you're gonna open, so you have your book like this. You're going to open it up, fold the newspaper, the excess newspaper over. Like this. And do the same for the other side. So that the newspaper is like this and then you can open it up I'm sorry that uh, I can't really show you guys what I'm doing on the table it's a little bit difficult to do that on a live but I'm doing my best um, so again you fold it over the, the, the cover of the book and then what you're gonna do is take your scissors and cut right in the middle um, so that you can fold in a second. You need to cut it down the middle for to, in, in order to do the next step. So again, cut until you reach the book, which is right here and right here. So you cut that, then you open it up again and you take the sides the bottom sides of the newspaper and you fold it over kind of like you're wrapping a present so you make a little triangle like this you make a little triangle you fold it over and then you fold it again so that it looks like this so you make a triangle and then you fold it over like that. Um, and then you do the same for the top. And then you're gonna do the same um, on the other side. But I'm gonna show you how to do it for the top first. Um, again, I'm so sorry that I can't show you what I'm doing with my hands, but I'll do my best to show you. So again, you're gonna make a triangle at the top like you would when you're uh, wrapping a present and do the same here and then do the same on the next side. So make a triangle um, and I'm going to take pictures of my folding process and put it on in the blog post. So. If this isn't step-by-step um, step enough for you or it's a little bit confusing still, then you can check out 
the blog and there will be photos. Um, but when you finish making a triangle and then folding it up, it will um, look like this. You want to grab some tape and tape it here so that it stays. And um, when you're finished, it should look like this. Um, again, you can see that here I used tape to tape it down um, again. And I don't know if you guys have ever wrapped a present, but you um, create triangles and then fold it over and then tape it down when you wrap a present. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. If not, there will be photos and written instructions of how to create a, a cover like this on the blog, which I will link in the description of this video. Um, but once you've created this, um, now you can think about the new cover that you want to make for this story. So as I said before, I picked Horton Hears a Who because I didn't really like the cover of this um, book, whether it wasn't um, this one I just didn't really think was aesthetically pleasing or I didn't think it looked nice. Um, but there are other books that I'm sure don't really tell you what the story is about, don't really tell you anything about what type of story it is. I'm having some connection problems. Romance. Um, so what then is um, think about the cover that you want to make. And since I used newspaper, um, and it's not white, so in case you use a brown paper bag or the back of wrapping paper um, and it's blank, then that's awesome. You can draw right on it, use markers or Sharpies. Um, but since this is, uh, this has writing on it, I got a blank sheet of paper and I, um, made my cover on that. So I made my own cover. I thought that this Horton Hears a Who by Dr. Seuss cover um, was more fun and more eye-catching than the original cover on the, the book. Um, so I first drew my cover on here um, and then I'm going to glue it down on the front of this book. So I'm gonna grab my glue stick and glue it down and um, I haven't done anything for the back but feel free to also draw something for the, on the back of the book whether that's um, something else that you think will make people want to read this book or whatever you think is best maybe like an author bio um, sometimes I know some books have that where they tell you a little bit about the author and why they wrote the book or maybe even a blurb. Um, a blurb is like a summary of what happens in a book. You can put that on the back. Um, you can also write on the binding. I know that some books have the name of the book and the author right here. You can add that if you want to. Um, the beauty of these paper covers is that you're not writing directly on the books. You can always take it off if you want or um, if, even if you have to give it back to the library or bring it back to school or whatever. Um, the beauty of these book slips is that you can do whatever you want with it, but it's not permanent. So, I have glued the cover that I made onto the front of the book. Um, again, you can add the binding or on the back or whatever you want. Um, you can also just use the newspaper, um and make the make a pretty pattern um or anything you like but i think it's a it's a fun idea to um think about the story inside of the book whether you've read it before or you're reading it for the first time for this project um i think it's a nice idea to take the contents of the book and try to display it as best you can in your own way on the cover of the book i know that it's super frustrating um to read a really interesting book or um, be assigned a book to read in school and you think it's going to be terrible because the cover is really ugly or boring um, and it doesn't reflect the content of the book at all. It doesn't give the book a fair chance. So this is your chance to kind of make your own. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope you share with me the covers that you make. Um, Again, the instructions to 
um, create these slips. These book slips will be posted um, on the blog, photographs and instructions that are easier to follow um, than on this live. They will be in the blog post that I will link in the description of this video. Um, I hope you guys share and tune in to next Wednesday's project um, at 1.30. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy.